Pennsylvania. Brad's in the car. What's up, bro? What's up? How you doing, cuz? I'm doing good. Good. You wanna just go ahead and do this with me? Ready? Three, two, one. What's going on, Fox Fam? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Right now, we're going back to Temecula. I don't even know why I live in San Diego at this point. Well, <laughs> I, I am hopefully moving up there when I turn 18. But for now, we're gonna go drive up there, meet up with Jacob Derezo and the Bull Bros. I know you guys love all of them. Actually, Maverick just got here with Shane, so it's like a whole crew day. We're gonna kind of like intertwine our crew with like their crew, you know? Temecula crew? In Kinda, yeah, a little bit. Like we're gonna come up in their hood is basically what I'm trying to tell you. I have not told you guys this. You might have seen it in, I don't know, if I've mentioned anything about this, but I'm going to Adam LZ's house this week. If you guys don't know who Adam LZ is, he is the man who inspired me to do YouTube. He's like a professional BMX writer. He makes a lot of car vlogs. He's an awesome dude. And we are going to his house. And by we, I mean me and Maverick. And I only just briefly told Maverick about this trip. And also, he doesn't know because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab his flight for him. And he doesn't know that. I think he thinks he's gonna pay for it. So my mom's booking the flights. She's helping us out. I'll show you guys. Our flights being booked though. They're being booked, but uh, I'm having a little bit of issues. What are the issues, Rhonda? Uh, Plane's not working. No, the the flight out. The pilot can't fly. Had one seat on the whole plane left. Oh my goodness. That's bad. Well, I did. We're booking it for like yeah, in three days. Anyways, I got a surprise. Maverick can tell him. Hey, Maverick, I got a surprise for you. It's either surprises are really good or really bad. No, no, no. Okay. This one's great. You okay. know how we're going to Florida? Yeah. See, so, yeah, um, did you want to just PayPal me your money for your flight? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's not needed because because don't care about. We're booking them right now, and I got you. We're going to Adam LZ's house. Going to Adam LZ's house, bro. I got you a flight, cuz. We're booking them now. <laughs> this is, I had no idea this was happening. We're going to Florida on the 5th. The 5th? The 5th of this month. That's in like three days. Oh my god. That's in gosh. three days, bro. Okay. I've never been to Florida. Guys. Maverick, Maverick's out here going to Florida. We're, you've never been to Florida? Never been to Florida. We are tackling three alligators. Yes, we have. No less, no less. Three All right, you boys ready to go to Temecula? Yeah. We are ready. Let's go. Officially made it to Temecula. We are at the mall right now, and we're going to meet up with the Bow Bros and Jacob, of course. Oh my goodness gracious! We're on top of a parking garage now. We got the Bow Bros, and we got Katie, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa long time Lisa. no see. How you been, Lisa? How you been, Coral? Honestly, what you been up to? Yeah, I've been good. You been good, Lisa? How's the husband? The kids are good. How many you got now? Anyways, Jacob's in the car, bro. Hello, man. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Still got the same hat, man. I haven't seen you since freaking Hawaii. Hawaii, I saw you in Hawaii, how random is that? All right, we are going up five flights of stairs right now. They're going in the elevator, we're gonna run up the stairs. Don't All right, you can't start yet. Ready, in three, two, two and one, go. Wait, they actually wanna get this. I'm double G7X in right now. What's a G7X, man? Son, it's camera, okay? Can I get one? No, you're not old enough. Okay, and we're going. Yeah, there's no way they're on the floor four already. That's five. Smoke. Smoke. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Really? Why, <laughs> guys? Hey, how are you? I just got to do that. That was actually impressive. It was very hard. Random stop number two of the day. Me and Taylor have been talking about puppies way too much lately, and I know there's a puppy store up here, so we're gonna go in and check out some cute little dogs. Dreams are nothing more than wishes, and a wish is just a dream you wish to come true. Oh my god, we're gonna see a dog. We're gonna actually see a little Peter. Yo, there's a baby Peter here. We're gonna see a little Peter. Yeah. You excited, bro? He's gonna sell us some drugs. Gotta clean our hands, guys. They're puppies. They're little. You gotta clean your soul. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Grab him. Make sure that she doesn't fall. Oh my goodness. Hello, Peter. Hi, how you doing? Taylor, I'm sorry, I know you just left a few hours ago, but we're at a puppy dog. store. This is the cutest thing I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. I can just imagine Jacob having a puppy like this. This is how Peter looks? Yeah, exactly. And just you naming him Peter. Except it's his, like the funniest thing. Imagine left, this ear is kind of weird. Kinda Hi, Peter, flops. you want to walk around? I call this one floppy. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Floppy. Oh, oh going right God. to you. That's Floppy. Get up here, floppy. Buddy. Hi guys, nice to meet you. This is my new dog, Floppy. Oh my god. Man, we've had our fair share of tortoises in our day, haven't we? We have. If only I could have a puppy, I'd call myself. We've been at this dog store for probably 30 minutes now and we're playing with <laughs> another dog and I love this one. This one's so cool. Jacob literally might get that other Papillon to like match Peter so he has a twin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's going. Get in there. He's getting in there, man. He's biting. Get in there, bro. Get in there. Get in there. 
Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, he just chills out. You can't do that. If you're my dog, you better be a rider. You better work hard every day. You better keep on. Oh. <laughs> what's up? Oh, you know, I don't need to say what's up. I'm already doing the vlog. I don't need to say that. Redo. Oh, I just gotta get my workout in because we're actually buying a Papillon right now for Jacob's family. Against the point. You guys are probably on this video because of the title and thumbnail. Yeah, it's something about an iPhone out of a car. I did that yesterday, so I'm gonna cut to yesterday Tanner because he's looking kind of snazzy right now. So, so, so back to you yesterday Tanner. Oh my god, that was so kind of you. Thank you tomorrow Tanner. Anyways, what's up guys? I am currently at the exact same drag race, only this one's in Mexico, uh, that I was at in yesterday's vlog where I raced Corey Funk in his C7 Corvette. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I would check it out. Anyways, what I have here today is I've been going through your guys' comments forever and trying to figure out what I could do with this iPhone 8 after I asked you what I should do with it. But Landon, one of my buddies, came up with such a good idea, so massive shout out to him for coming up with this idea. We are gonna be doing a 100 mile an hour drop test with a brand... I, 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 I hide it, I hide it. There it is, there it is, I found it, I found it, okay. So this is a brand new iPhone 8, it's untouched, no SIM card, there is a little bit of smudges on the lens. We filmed a video on Dylan's channel where we dropped it off a 100 foot drop inside of a pumpkin. Anyways, it's a rose gold, it's an iPhone 8, and we are here to see how destructible this thing is, and see what kind of damage we can do to this phone. I am so excited to do this video because I bought this iPhone 8 for videos like this, and I guess we're just gonna see how, how much beating this thing can actually take. We're gonna drop it from 100 miles an hour out of this bad boy, aka Guaxilla. You guys know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this. You ever put your phone on on top of your roof and you drive away and it falls off and it shatters or it falls in the middle of the street. I actually haven't done that yet, but I'm about to, but I know a lot of my friends have done that so that I guess we'll kind of see if you guys get an iPhone 8, you accidentally leave it on top of your roof, you drive away, it flies off. And, and you right, just um, so happen to be going 100 miles an hour when it flies off. Yes, and it wouldn't have flown off before. Anyways, that's against the point, guys. I'm gonna go 100 miles an hour in Mexico. I'm gonna have Taylor inside of the car filming from my angle on my G7X and then I'm gonna have Dylan out here on this camera. I'm My goal is to drop it right around here. When we raced Corey yesterday, I got kind of a good idea of like how fast I can get going before a certain point. So we're pretty much gonna do it right here. I'm literally gonna have it out the window. I'm gonna be driving and then I'm gonna go and drop it out the window. So let's get right into it. Let's do it guys. Wait, wait, wait. You need to come this way though. Why? So that I can see you. So I can see you drop the phone. Why don't you just stand right here? I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, I want you all to go comment down below and smash the like button for us doing this. This is a brand new iPhone 8. These things came out like I think a week ago. So everyone smash the like button on this. Give me any ideas I should do with an iPhone 8 next or an iPhone X when those come out. Okay, Tanner just disappeared behind the hill. Don't exactly know when he's coming back, but when he comes back, he'll be going 100 miles an hour. I can assure you guys that much. Okay, Taylor, are you ready for this? How are you feeling? I'm ready for this. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to do this. Go down there, turn around. We're gonna go 100 miles an hour and we're gonna see how much damage this iPhone 8 can take. If we drop it, 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 if it can still work by the end of this video, I'll be kind of stoked on that. This lighting's complimenting you very well. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> just did that, that was the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, here's one half of the phone, the other half flew into the bush. <laughs> this thing, oh, here it is! These things are toast. Yo! You dusted it! Alright, well here's the lowdown. It's in two pieces. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's what happened when that's what happens. Holy crap. I was not expecting this. Okay, so we just dropped an iPhone 8 going hundred miles an hour. The screen fell off. I literally said in the car, I said if it's if the screen is still working, I'll be like stoked. Well, the screen's definitely not working. Okay, so as you guys can see, the point of impact, I threw it out and it, it had to have gone like this and then snapped Ding. like that. Or not only that, but okay, so the screen ended up like over there relatively in the middle. The back of the phone was in that bush. You guys can see all the damage. There's the new battery that supposedly lasts three hours longer. Yo, I'm shaking because that was the most intense thing ever. Driving that fast and then throwing your... Throwing <laughs> Just throwing out. a phone out the window. I should raffle this away and then I could donate everything to charity. If I should do that, guys. You can raffle up each half. 
Yeah, and then people could have the the GTR phone if, if if that's a thing. Anyone wants that? Dang, I did not think this was gonna break. I don't know why I did not think that was gonna well, break. Well, I knew. I didn't think it was gonna turn into nine different pieces. Okay, um, we just freaking did that, bro. We did. iPhone we eight did. 100 mile an hour drop test. I I've seen people do height drop tests, but never a speed drop test, bro. I genuinely think I could get a new screen for this. You'd have to replace. <laughs> no, I think you could put a new screen on it's this. It's a little bent. Yeah, a little bit, but I think they could fix it. I should try to fix this. Um, so I think the iPhone 7 would have handled this a little better, being that the back of it's aluminum. Yeah, yeah. So that's just a little a little comparison from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 7. The iPhone 8, the back is glass. So not only is your screen gonna shatter, but the back of your phone is gonna shatter. So you guys <laughs> gotta keep that in mind. I mean, I guess these things aren't really built to be thrown out of a car going 100 miles an hour. Yeah, no, so you guys kinda not. got that going for you. When else can you just absolutely slaughter an iPhone 8? I love Apple. I'm not doing this for any hatred reason. Okay. Oh. Wow. I, took I am so far. surprised how this turned out. Well, now it's even worse. Can't believe we just did that. I can't believe we just did that. All right. Hey, man. Hey, tomorrow, Tanner, you've been real, man. Thank you so much for flashing back to me. I really appreciate this whole segment you gave me there. Uh, back to you. Oh, hey. Um, I'm back. Yeah, thank, thank you for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all of those clips. We're going to continue today's vlog with a new puppy. And they called it puppy love. Oh, I guess. Oh my. I wish there was a reflection Did this, this just happen? Did it you just, just happen, bro. So Jacob just bought a new Papillon, and the cool thing is this isn't, hey, what did they say about the dog being like a rescue? Basically, I guess, some people had him as like a litter and, and they couldn't him. afford him to George keep him, so they just dropped him off here, I guess. So, people let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who loved me till the end. I also want to tell you guys, I own, one I own one fourth of this dog. I helped paid a little bit. This is technically not only is it the Bo Bros dog, it's Jacob's dog, but it's also mine. And Jacob said, I get to name it. I get to name it, right? If it's a good name. <laughs> I wish you were so